All right, so I'm gonna be taking apart my Xbox 360 E, it's called, the last one that they uh, made. Um, and I got plans to, to mod it, but that's for a later date. Um, so what we're gonna do first is remove this piece, it just comes right out. There's the hard drive, pull that out. And now what we're gonna do is this cover and the one on the other side just kind of pop out. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to film, but all you really need to do is get a credit card in that little crack and just slowly pry up. There's four clips on each side, comes up pretty easy. Yeah, I'm not able to really film this one-handed, but you can see I got one of the, the clips out. And all you do is work your way down. There you go. Damn. There we go. Now it focuses. So then you do the exact same thing to the other side. All right, get the other side just a little pried open. And there it goes. Oh, I guess there's more than four, but it is really easy once you first get under that little seal. And then the next thing on the side that doesn't have the hard drive is this. This is the Wi-Fi card. It's held in just by the one screw, so you gotta take that out next. Now, I wasn't able to figure out the exact um, type of bit to use, but I'm using a Torx Security 10 and it's loose, but if you're careful, it uh, comes out and then this card, it's like a USB stick, it just pulls out. Now right behind where that Wi-Fi card was, there's a little black clip that helps keep the case together. You see the seam right here? So what you do is you just get behind it with something, trying to keep it well lit. And then once, once it's pulled out like that, then you pry apart, but it's gonna take two hands for me. Now, unfortunately, you can see I cracked it right down the middle while trying to do it with one hand for you guys. But um, I don't think it's gonna affect anything too much. It was still kind of difficult to get off. But now, you can see where we're going with this. It's starting to split apart. All right, so that's the clip I just took out. You can see it's broken down the middle. Please don't tell my mom. And on the other side, we gotta do the same thing. Another little clip in there, and that's gonna split the back apart. All right, so I got it apart. There is the clip that you're gonna be prying that way, up and away from where it's held onto over there. And yeah, pops apart like that. So we got it cracked open. There are the two clips. And you wanna put it upside down. <clears throat> and it opens just like a book. Set that to the side, set that to the side. And we got these black screws. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That we're gonna remove. So there they are, and same thing as the Wi-Fi board. I wasn't exactly sure what type of head these were, but the Torque Security 10 did the job just fine. So now that the screws are out, we're gonna be removing a piece of plastic from around the CD drive. Um, if you look at this side, you see that yellow tape? There's a hole right in there. And you take your Microsoft branded paper clip, put it in the hole, push in a little bit, boom. And that's how you level up your lock picking. So now that the CD drive is open, that piece of plastic that says Xbox 360, see that little seam right there? This whole piece of plastic is gonna come off. You just pry. It's just got a couple plastic clips. I wasn't able to get it on the video because I needed both my hands, but here's the little plastic piece. It's just got a few clips on both sides. You just gotta pry it off. So now we flip it back over so it's right side up. And same thing like the bottom cover, you just lift carefully, get that out of there, there you go, at least to the side, and there we go, 
we're in. Now, there is the front I.O., like the power button and everything. And there's a flex cable that you want to be careful of. And right there is where we're going to disconnect it. So I'll show you that. So, very carefully, you take a look in there. So you can see the white clip. And on the back of it, there's like a black and a gray part that actually lifts up and then you're able to pull the cord out. It's gonna be hard for me to do with one hand because this keeps wanting to tip over, but that is the connector. I'll try to show it as best as I can. So now I've got that clip lifted up and that clear plastic thing surrounding it on the front closer to us, you lift that part up now and the whole cable just pulls out. So again, that's where the cable was. Here's what the cable looks like. And yeah, it just slides right out. So now we're going to remove the CD drive. Um, you're able to lift up on the front a little bit um, to help you get to those two cables that you have to unplug from it. I believe it's the power and the SATA cable. Um, nothing crazy about them, they just pull straight out. All right, now that they're disconnected, you're able to just carefully lift this on out of here. Set that to the side, set this to the side. And next up. So now you just remove this little plastic cover. And now we're gonna be taking out where the hard drive was slid in in the beginning of the video. And before you do that, you gotta remove those two cords, the further away ones, this red cord and blue cord. So same thing as the CD drive, these two cords just pull straight out, nothing crazy. Um, but before we can take this out, there's a screw right there that has to come out. And there's a screw on the other side of this, um, which I'll do next. You gotta flip over the Xbox to get to. But let me take this, this one out first. Flip it back over, and this is the other screw that we need to take out. Uh, this screw and the one I just pointed out on the side, same thing, Torx Security 10 is gonna do the trick. So now that those two screws are out, I flipped it back over. And now this whole thing lifts up and out. So since I'm in here, I want to replace the thermal paste and that involves us removing this fan and heat sink. And to do that, you carefully flip it back over. Very carefully. Uh, and then you remove the rest of these screws, including these four black ones. You got three here, the two silvers up there, and then the four black ones. So same thing, those silver screws are close to a Torx Security 10, but these four black ones I'm finding are closer to a Torx Security 8. Now that all those screws are out, we're gonna be removing this front plate. Um, one black screw, Two black screws, same thing, Torque Security so 8. now that those two screws are out, we're gonna pull this whole board up. It's connected right behind here. Just pull it straight up, and you see where it came from. There you go. Now we're back here, and you want to remove, this is where the CD drive was sitting. This just kinda pulls up. Get this out of the way, and now, we are ready to remove the motherboard. And you wanna lift this side up first. It's gonna come up like this and out. Try to film this, but I've never done anything like this before, so I'm nervous, especially with one hand. So here it comes up. Oh, that sounds good. All right, up, 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 and now, oh. Now you see that, there we go. That's an Xbox 360. So now to remove the heat sink, um, you have to get like a screwdriver or something in here, right here, and you pry away from the center. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna release a clip down in there. You have to do that to all four. Um, from what I'm understanding, it's a little tricky. You might gotta go around a few times, ease in it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a One, shot. One, two, 
and two to go. All right, so they're all disconnected. This just comes out. Um, and something I forgot to do is you see that cord from the fan? It plugs in right there. That white port with the yellow, blue, and red cords coming out goes whoop, into the fan. There's the heat sink, the cord I was talking about that I got to unplug, and thermal paste, which will gladly be replaced at a later date. All right, that's where I'm going to call it for today. Um, I'll call it a success, even though I don't know if it's going to work when I put it all back together. I hope it will, but I'm not sure because this is my first time doing anything this crazy. Um, the next video, I'm going to be cleaning everything, including the thermal paste, the heat sink, the fan. I'm going to hot water and soap all the plastics. I might even fuck around and paint it uh, and reapply more thermal paste. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mod the fan so I can increase the fan speed uh, just to keep things even cooler in there. Uh, and then I'm going to be looking into modding, whether that's through JTAGging or one of the other methods. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end it here, call it a success for now, and hopefully you learned something. I doubt it, but, you know, maybe you did.